Hey guys, what's up? My name is Anthony, and welcome to another edition of BNA Sports Talk. <laughs> I, I got like a nice little recording space now, so you know we don't have to hear the wind and stuff. And me complain about the birds unless a bird flies into the window or something. We, are, I think we're good. But I want to mention, I want to talk about the DeAndre Baker situation and kind of like the fallout from it. I didn't, th- I thought he'd, I didn't think he'd go to jail, but I didn't think it'd be, you know, he'd get nothing. But there's obviously the Madden situation, the the Quentin Dunbar's lawyers talking about him, tweeting about him, like. You know, it was him in the picture, but it wasn't him. Honestly, I, I'm just ready for all this drama to be over. I think, uh, my opinion was, it's a good thing that the Giants were going to get rid of DeAndre Baker because of his work ethic. But if this can spin positively, I'm all for it. Something needed to change. And, you know, I think everyone, Arian Sharpens Iron, um, he's going to, if he goes into camp, he's willing to work. I'm not too sure if this is going to be long-term successful. I, I just don't. I don't really believe in DeAndre Baker being the long-term solution for this team. Um, and I think we should look to trade him. Now, I was thinking about it, uh, uh, you know, trading him to a potentially a different team. It would have to be done mid-season, and it would have to show improvement. That's the thing. He would have to be playing. He would have to go through this entire process, not sleep in a meeting. And, uh, yeah, so basically... Uh, I have some teams that I think we sh- we could and should trade him to. Now, teams with the obvious corner deficits, I think I I really do think the Raiders have a um, a cornerback deficit. You brought in Prince Mukamara, you have Damon Arnett, but really I'm not too impressed with anybody else in the roster. I think he'd be a good fit in Vegas. I also think he'd be a good fit in Green Bay. If you take a look at their uh you know their cornerbacks, I don't really love them. You know you you got rid of Ha Clinton Dix, who I think can play more of a safety. Um, a safety role, but you know you you don't really have anybody that really wows you. They drafted a guy in the first round last year. Um, I forgot his name, but they they definitely drafted a guy in the first round last year. But I don't think they have a a presence like that. DeAndre Baker, man on man, taking a look at this division. If you can shut down a cornerback, a uh, wide receiver, that'd be great for uh for them. You know, they have a shut down cornerback. Now, what I'd be willing to give him up for? I'd be willing to give up a second round pick. Um, yeah, so I'd be willing definitely to, um, to be giving up a second round pick for them that, you know, it's, it's kind of a sunk cost or whatever. Uh, I'm not sure if that's the right financial term, but uh, I think it could work here. They have Jair Alexander, um, Josh Jackson. They, they, I think they need another guy to, uh, further prolong themselves, um, and, you know, further prolong themselves. Also, I can see the Chiefs going after a guy like this. They did address their secondary last year with one, not one, was it one throw nail or Deontay Thompson, who had a, uh, he was really showed you know, good, you know, uh, good progress towards the end of the year. I think that's an option. There are a bunch of teams that are looking for corners. No team is safe from corners. I wouldn't be surprised if even the Patriots, for crying out loud, were to get a cornerback like that. Now, let's take a look at the cap breakdown and what potentially the Giants could, um, you know, what, what we have to bear for the DeAndre Baker situation. And uh, yeah, and uh, again, some other teams, the Texans, I think they'd be a good thing, uh, a good idea. You know, you have uh, Conley, I think, on that team. You know, I don't love their cornerback situation whatsoever. You are paying a lot of guys and you'd have to take on this first round, you know, contract. But if DeAndre Baker could all of a sudden get with, you know, Deshaun Watson and they could have a little bit of camaraderie, um, I think that could work as well. You you put him in a little bit of a hostile situation, I understand. But yeah, so that's my opinion about that. And again, let's just start breaking down the Andre Baker's um, you know, cap hit, whatever. He'd be five million dollars net minus. So that means we'd have to, you know, we'd be sixty million dollar cap hit. Um, we'd go down to we'd go down to another ten if we cut him um this year. We'd go down to five million dollars. But if we trade him, um, you know, post June 1st in the season, we can save a million dollars. And uh, this creates more cap flexibility to f- for the future because his breakdown, if you go for the next couple years, it starts getting into the multi-million dollars. Obviously, that's not expensive, but it's not cheap whatsoever. And we have to pay some other people. So it does create a little more flexibility. And we have addressed our cornerback position. I know a lot of people like uh, what, you know, potentially... Uh, we got our first, our draft picks last year can do, what's his name? I always forget, Corey Ballantyne. Uh, I don't know why I always forget his name, but, you know, people like his potential on the outside. You also always have Grant Haley. So I wouldn't completely mind bringing him, you know, cutting him and, uh, you know, kind of trusting those guys. But honestly, I think that you should almost just, um, you, you should probably just keep him, to be totally honest with you. He's a $5 million cap hit next year. It's a $7 million cap hit this year. 
Um, so yeah, it's definitely not a horrible thing if we do end up cutting him this year. Um, yeah, so uh, some other teams that, you know, could be looking for corners. The Chargers, obviously, a corner fills over the Dolphins. The Colts could be looking for a cornerback. Um, they did, you got Rocky Asin. So imagine you got Rocky Asin and DeAndre Baker, two out of the top three, um, you know, cornerbacks from, you know, last year, from last year's draft. Obviously, you know, cornerbacks weren't really successful last year. You know, you had some Tampa Bay rookies that, that they did pretty well. But I don't really love their cornerback uh, situation. You brought in Xavier Rhodes. But I think he's on the downward trajectory of his career. Uh, you know, their general manager, Chris Ballard, doesn't really love bringing in guys, you know, for money and stuff like that. But I take a shot with a guy like DeAndre Baker, only upside, and, get you know, get rid of a second-round pick. They have to start competing at some point. The Jets are, um, their secondary is pretty good. Um, you have a guy like Jamal Adams, but he's obviously a safety. Um, yeah, I think that their secondary is a little bit overrated. Uh, you're paying Tremaine Johnson a lot of money, and you end up cutting him, which is pretty funny. Not Tremaine Johnson. Um, what was his name? Um, who did they end up cutting? Did they cut Tremaine Johnson? I forget who it was, but they end up cutting one of their corners this year. So, you know, the Jets are obviously looking for a cornerback. Every team, pretty much, if you look down the list, the Cowboys, even though they got Hawkland Dix, the Panthers, uh, they just lost James Bradbury. So um, I definitely look to uh, give him to a team that's going to, you know, wanting to look for a corner. I think the Giants should explore that option. I'm just saying it's an option on the table. You, They should look at it. You shouldn't completely wipe it off the you know, realm of possibility because that's not what good teams do. Good teams, you know, you heard it with Russell Wilson. You know, it's just like they had every single option on the table available, trade them to the Browns. It was an option on the table. Now, were they that serious about it? I'm not too sure. But everything has to be a possibility. Even the 49ers who may want that last piece of the pie – DeAndre Baker could protect, uh, you know, get a Richard Sherman. Richard Sherman struggles with those out routes. He really does. And DeAndre Baker, I think, press man, he can be physical, and he can eventually replace a guy like Richard Sherman uh, on the you know edge for the cornerback. And they again, the the 49ers didn't really do a lot to address their cornerback position. So if he becomes available, you know, mid season, go for a playoff push. I think it's a very viable option. I don't think it's likely. I think the Giants really give him a chance to play out his rookie deal and then we'll just cut him because, you know, a bunch of teams are like, yeah, just wait to cut him and then we'll, you know, bid for him or whatever. But um, the team would be wise to pick up DeAndre Baker, bring him into a good culture, and I think he'll be successful. Maybe that culture is here, but I'm not too sure. Um, yeah, but hope you guys enjoy this video. Let me know what you guys think. Should we trade DeAndre Baker? If so, to what team? What would you be the minimum requirement for you? And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.